Previously on Lord of the Rings, Middle-earth rules say that a falling wizard can catch up to his falling sword and a falling balrog even when those things have a 20 second head start. Bless them. We hate them. I know Gollum's not exactly smart, but why would he talk so loudly to himself if he's trying to actually sneak up on the hobbits and surprise them? Get down! Oh, oh. Sam is a dick to Gollum's. And the union of the two towers. Roll credits. Oh, wait. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys! Looks like meat is back on the menu for about 10 orcs. The other ones in the background appear to be happy with their maggoty bread. No one's gonna save you now. There is no way that one of the riders of Rohan was able to throw his spear from this distance to kill a crouching orc. <laughs> Make it look like the character died when 90% of the audience knows he didn't die, cliche. A red sun rises. Blood has been spilled this night. Is Legolas serious? So every time blood spills, a red sun rises? So there should be a red sun for, like, at least half the trilogy, right? I would cut off your head, dwarf, if it stood but a little higher from the ground. You would die before your stroke fell. I know we need to establish that Legolas has become a blood brother to Gimli, but this is way out of line for his character, and stupid. I mean, is this Legolas Skywalker? We are no spies. The first clue should have been when we hailed you while your backs were turned and we had no reason to give away our position. We left none alive. Instead of asking the riders if they remember killing people as memorable as hobbits, or if they even remember stacking two small childlike creatures who don't look one bit like orcs on the death pile, Eomer chooses the all I remember is that everybody died story to keep us in quote unquote suspense. In five seconds, Gimli finds a hobbit belt in an orc stack. I agree that Aragorn is this badass ranger dude, but the hobbit's track should have long been trampled over by horses and men dragging dead orcs to the flaming death mound. First off, the Nazgul really need to stop shrieking and giving away their position. Secondly, you tracked Frodo to the marshes and once again can't locate the ring mere feet in front of you. Mr. Frodo. Also, a closed fist is enough to quiet a powerful magical evil ring. This forest is old. How old is it? Very old. How the hell does this actually work? How did they not see them? Wow, the flag waited until the perfect moment to break her spirit. I guess Gandalf used a Jedi mind trick of some sort to make this guy forget that he was a wizard and that the walking stick was a magical staff. Gandalf clearly walks into the hall with his staff out in the open, and it's not entirely hidden as he continues to walk towards the king, but nonetheless, it's a total surprise to Grima when Gandalf exposes the staff to show he means business. I told you to take the wizard's staff! Is the staff the sole source of Gandalf's power? Didn't he lose the staff and fall with the Balrog for days and days and fight that demon with a sword? This fall would kill some people and break bones in pretty much anyone except Grima Wormtongue. Enough blood has been spilled on his account. I agree with the merciful Aragorn here, you shouldn't just go around killing dudes, but why should he be let go? Also, they didn't have to give him a f***ing horse, did they? You have 2,000 good men riding north as we speak. Does this look like 2,000 men? Where did Aragorn learn to count? When last I looked, Theoden... Not Aragorn was king of Rohan. Yeah, well, last I looked, Theoden got his f***ing kingly mind all invaded by the evil sorcerer and shit, so maybe shut your pie hole and let someone who hasn't f***ed up lately do the planning. Aw, she thinks she's Mulan. It is a dangerous road to take through. Is there a place in all of Middle-earth except maybe the Shire that isn't dangerous when you walk through it? Wicked Tracy first. Andy Serkis isn't getting nominated for an Oscar in this scene. I realize marching to Mordor must be brutally boring, but none of these soldiers looks up to see the not really even hiding hobbits? Most useless love triangle in the history of plot. I'm pretty sure Legolas can shoot arrows faster than this, but I guess we need more time to get acquainted with the wargs. You know, I believe a lot of things in these movies. Magic, talking trees, immortality, evil spirits. But in no way do I believe Legolas got on this horse in the manner depicted. Who the f*** is that? That is not Gimli. <laughs> Even in Middle-earth, horrible creatures bent on death would rather bark at you than try and kill you first. For the third time in the series, and the second time in this movie, yet another character supposedly dies when we know full well he doesn't. Where is he? He fell. You had no chance anyway, cliché. Helm's Deep has one weakness. Helm's Deep was built with the same flaw as the Death Star. Tens of thousands. But my lord, there is no such force. This is a great reveal for the audience, but you can't seriously be expecting me to believe that Wormtongue either lives in this tower or comes here every morning for work and has no idea there are tens of thousands of soldiers outside. He no longer cares for growing things. Did this movie just turn into Fern Gully? It would grieve you then to learn that he is dead. 
How does Warren travel fast enough for Faramir to know that Boromir died alone in the forest, but not fast enough for that message to also contain the words, by the way, don't kill or capture the two ring-bearing hobbits that were friends of your dead brother Boromir? To enter the Forbidden Pool bears the penalty of death. The Forbidden Pool? Are you making this shit up as you go along? Discount Kristen Stewart. Well, that's a foul. Wait, didn't we just see them do this already? I mean, I know Aragorn said hold after the old dude accidentally shot his arrow, but does hold mean don't fire? Or does it mean everyone put your bows down completely so that I need to give you an entirely separate command in order for you to raise them again? He's just now telling them this. That guy must be half elf, half Wilhelm. The Ents take forever to do anything. Why? Because the story's not ready for them yet. But it doesn't want you being all surprised when they show up later. Okay, so speak English then. All the Ents nodded when you made that You Aren't Orcs proclamation, so all of you understood that. You had one job, Legolas. One job. No one could possibly fall for the Aragorn Might Be Dead routine at this point, but the movie keeps wasting time on it. How does Treebeard not know this? Don't the trees talk to each other? Wouldn't the Ents have gotten word that this was happening? Well, here we are at Helm's Deep the next morning. Where's that red sun that signals the blood spilling that Legolas was talking about? This asshole probably still can't detect the ring. Can you or can you not? Damn it, man, I'm a doctor, not a torpedo technician. <laughs> It's too big. Size matters not. Look at me. Just me by my size, do you? Hmm? Hmm. And where you should not. It's the castle of the Wicked Witch. Dorothy's in that altered place. Oh, I hate to think of her in there. <laughs> We've got to get her out. Don't cry now. We haven't got the oil can with us, and you've been squeaking enough as it is. Who's them? Who's them? The power of Christ! That the power of Christ compels you! I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that itch. And I know if I'm gonna have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Thank <laughs> you.